with the popularity of just sports in general for women. And now we... But with that effect, not only for women's basketball, but for the exposure of... What's up, guys? So as you guys already know, we all know we wear... To the award show. <laughs> yeah, we're on our way to the awards show. It's Honoring Women in Sports Awards Show. So we were invited by Georgia State University. And he thinks that I'm going to win an award. For I think so. We're so, gonna see. We're gonna see if I win an award, but we're super excited to go, and we were right there on time. You guys, just right Perfect. on time. So, see what happens, y'all. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we um we just filmed a video that we hope you guys right now. By the time you see this, you've already seen that video. Thank you all for all of your uh, nice comments and not so nice comments. We really appreciate you guys. <laughs> we like them all. <laughs> we like them all, so thank you all so much. Serving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day. Every day. And we're wearing black, you guys. So, and jeans. Look at my man looking all sporty right there. Whoa. And I'm wearing a dress and stuff. And it's done with earrings. I recommend that one of them shows uh, the husbands of famous sports <laughs> That's awesome, babe. I love it. So maybe they're going to cast us one of those shows, babe. Who knows? Taylor would love it. <laughs> Taylor wants to be wants to be one of I mean he's gonna take it if some opportunity comes like oh, that. Yeah. Says, yeah, baby, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, we know it. Yeah. But anyways, we're super excited and we're going now and it's gonna be fun. And the kids, the kids actually have but wait, what do they have today at school? They're studying for this competition they're in. So they'll be uh, at school for another hour so we don't have to rush back. Yeah. Perfect because the award show is 11 to 1. Yeah, so babe, you and I may just like hang out in Atlanta and check out some stuff before we come home, right? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Atlanta, Georgia, here we come. Here we come. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're in Atlanta, we're two minutes away from the one minute away from the place we're going. So, this is awesome. Let me show you. Guys. Here we are. There's my sweet man right there. <laughs> We're gonna go look for the parking. The parking is on the other side. This is Panthers uh, Stadium. See that? First time we go. Yeah, I'll show you the, the parking. We're gonna go right. Keep going. This is parking, but. Hi, Karen. We can go. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Okay. There's parking. We're gonna go straight down. You know where is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. Hank Aaron Drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is look at Georgia State. So they have this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go over there and park. Yeah. The parking lot. Okay. Let's go, babe. Free parking. I've never been to this particular. This is the football stadium, not the basketball. So, oh, look at some pe somebody going in there. I think we're gonna park in the gate through the gates too. Um, let's go here and see. Let's go that way. Yeah, isn't that what I gave you? What did I give you?
Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. So we parked quite a bit. <laughs> We're gonna be walking. That's my sweet man. Two out. Two out. Two out. Two out. Black. This is a football stadium. We're gonna go to the women's, the basketball stadium, and that's. Where's Cody Jones? Yeah. Come on, man. If you don't show up, I'm not gonna play you, though. Huh? Somebody's gonna open the door for us. Alright, you guys. This is George's team in basketball. Women's. And then we have the cheerleading squad. Um, and there's a <laughs> my amazing man. Taylor Oaksmith. Yay! <laughs> and here we are. Volleyball. Beach volleyball. We got soccer team. Now we're going to sit. Where does it? Where was the going? Trophy bar. Trophy bar. Oh, how early are we? Well, quite early, babe. What time does it start? I think so. 11. You know, we'll be eating first, food starts first, and then. It's 11. African time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have this. Baby, you know this stadium used to be the Atlanta Braves, Georgia State body from the Atlanta Braves, yeah. Now it's uh, for football. I know if we need something to drink, then just ask them. Well, I see the people who are catering. They're over there. But you can go in there. Baby, you know that front? Um, yeah front row to watch the men's football and stuff. Yeah. And see, they're, they're practicing too. Georgia State, men's football. So, the men's football, they're practicing right here. My man right there. Georgia State Panthers. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you guys the Panthers. This is the Pack Center. Okay, the Park Center. Georgia State. Or practicing. Here we are. I'm not sweet man over there, sending a text. Hey, who you texted? <laughs> so yeah. It is cool, though. I'm definitely one of those like basketball wives. <laughs> Taylor feels like he's a basketball wife now. <laughs> but yeah. I told you guys this morning something else. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta. Big things. So next time I'll, I'll be, next time I remember to have them to send your name so they can put your name on stuff. Yeah, she forgot to tell them that I'm the basketball wife. <laughs> Taylor said he's the basketball wife. <laughs> but but yeah, here we are. So yeah, oh babe. This air is blowing up my dress Ooh. to reveal my butt. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys. All right, you guys, so we're seated now. I'm gonna show you guys the setup. We got the salad right here. 
stream for activity 17. See everything? Mmm, looking good. Georgia State Champions Club. That's how we are, yeah. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it, babe? Hey, babe, how are you feeling? You feel like a champ? You're a champ. I'm a champ. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So, yeah. Babe, I think I lost one of my earrings. The one that was here. I know. I still, I have a few more in the in the car, but yeah, you guys, just show you guys just a little bit of everybody in here. And yeah. So you guys, we'll see that over here. Right here. I didn't have the sweet man right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, anybody, anybody raise their hand? <laughs> Not like this. At church. church, I hate it. I don't like it. I go like this, but I stretch out. I was like, raise your hand. I'm like, <laughs> well, yeah, you guys. So, we're here. We're just waiting, and people are trickling in little by little. So, event's about to start. That's a champagne. You're not drinking, you're gonna drink some? You're gonna, you're gonna have a little bit. Try to just see what like. Yeah, just a little bit. Me, I can't have nothing. You guys already know there's a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I have to drive too, babe. Are you gonna be buzzed up? Because <laughs> I don't want you to. 250 pounds. Baby, don't weigh 250. You weigh 230. Now it's 25. What? 30, actually. <laughs> <laughs> 275. You, you're not harsh. 274. Oh boy. But anyways, you guys, yeah, we're super excited and it's about to start and this food is looking so good. Y'all and I did not eat on purpose. So we can really dive in. <laughs> but yeah, oh guys, my earring is falling off again. Gotta fix this. All right, you guys. So, <laughs> when we were uh, early, babe, just tell me what just happened. Oh, uh, I told him, I've been saying she's gonna get some kind of reward. First thing we come in here, coach comes right up to us. Mary was getting impressive when he's done the board meeting. Uh, board member. Have a lovely night. I told him. And Taylor is the basketball wife. <laughs> Well, maybe we call yourself the wife. Well, that's like the show. That's the wife. Like the wife show. <laughs> they need to have a show coming up to you soon. That's the wife show. But yeah, you guys, it's so fun. And we're excited. And Taylor just drank some rum. Rum. What? It's tea. It's tea. <laughs> Yeah. Let me try the tea and see how good it is. Mmm, the southern tea. Baby, it's not bad. It's good. Delicioso. Oh, yeah, you guys. I'm very excited. And I'm looking forward to seeing Chan over here, too. Chan was invited, so. But yeah, this event was fun and I'm glad that we came and we were invited, which is absolutely amazing and so far so good. Everybody's trickling in. Ooh. It's called a post game playbook and I'll turn it however you want. Oh, yeah, this is and it, and it amazing. You're more than the movement of your arms and legs. Wow. And let's discover what specific gifts and talents you have because you're better after sports than during sports. No the matter what level you achieve. <laughs> and you're actually the our country's leaders because you know how to take correction yes. and rebound. Yeah. And you know also how to do participate in a goal larger than yourself. Exactly. You've also worked with other people yes. that you like or don't like towards that goal. Come on now. You That's don't it. like everybody. No, yeah. oh no. No, and it's the truth. coaches, and then how they dispel the information and what may be how you get it. So it's how you learn on the field, in the classroom, and how that relates to a career and a life. 
because the student athletes or former student athletes, you really need to form your own team. You do. Because everyone wants to belong and you understand a belongingness that most people never do. That's You're it. a publicly stated group of people that belong. That belong. And that's what everybody's craving is to belong. That's so it. it's it's that's what the book is. So where can people find this book? Um uh, well, online, uh, you want to cut this one. I, I have audience tab. Okay. And um, if they email me at drdebrob at gmail.com, yeah. I, can, I send you out the book. Okay. And it, it, there's a link to it. I put a link on it. You can follow me at Instagram at drdebrob, D-E-B-R-O-B-B-E, -B -B -E, mm -hmm. or um, uh, online at drdebrob. Okay, uh, perfect. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Let me show them again. You guys, make sure you check this out. I'm going to link all the information in the description box below. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you. No, babe, I don't want to use yours. No. All right, you guys. I'm about to eat my, my salad. I don't tell I can't wait. The salad has been sitting here for a while. <laughs> okay. Um, and I am just so overwhelmed by seeing the amount of people who are here today to celebrate all of our women. Um, it is such a great turnout and I'm so excited to be here. My name is Felicia Tucker. I am the Assistant Director for Donor Relations here at Georgia State, so welcome. Give, your hands, give yourself a hand clap for coming out today. Woo! Yay! So today's program is going to be awesome. We're going to hear some great stories from our coaches. I believe at every table there is a student athlete and also a student athlete alum. So make sure you interact and hear from each other. Um, right now, we're going to start with our meals. So you guys can go ahead and dig into your salad. After that, I will dismiss the tables and you will get your main course and then we'll come back. Okay? Okay. All right. Y'all enjoy. Yay. Okay. Perfect timing. Story Sports Team. That's you. Oh, you're already following it. Oh, I'm already following you. That's you. That's, you. That's awesome. What? You guys. Hey, I'm Norman. That's Norman. <laughs> Go Panthers. Go Panthers. Oh my gosh, I'm already following. So he co he controls the Panther Pride team, and um, I was going to follow. I didn't know that I already followed. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah. Amazing. Some reason that doesn't surprise me. It does. <laughs> and what did you do? Yes, it's from the birthday is two sides. The table is nine and ten. I'm not waiting. I'm going to go for a buffet next, but I'm eating my cake. So where's your office? Can you hear Go ahead, Carol. Mine too. That's where my podcast is. Hey, you gotta be on my podcast. I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna get your information and stuff. So amazing. Absolutely. I'm optimistic about the season. I don't want to be How is know, the... this is <laughs> too over the top saying we're going to win every game. Uh, we're going to win every game? <laughs> uh, I, I want us to win every game. Me too. I want to no, be really realistic. Wanted that one. Yeah. No, we needed that Chattanooga win, and, and absolutely, no doubt. Amazing. <laughs> So I'm excited to introduce this panel to you, um, but first I want to take a quick second to thank a couple special guests we have in the room. Um, our corporate sponsors from Northside Hospital, Fariza Muhammad and Marissa Williams. Sponsor of Quality Control Sports, Kennedy Crutcher and Maya Macklin. Woo! I also want to 
want to take time to thank our current and former board members of the Women's Philanthropy Network. You guys have been instrumental Woo! in our student athletes and women We also have a handful of Georgia State former student athlete alums in the room. And so I want to yes, give them do. a shout out and thank them for coming back and supporting our women and supporting the women. Woo! <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce the panel first here and then we'll go into some Q and A's and hopefully take away a few nuggets, uplift one another. Um, and again, appreciate everyone for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. <laughs> Baby, you're new on the block, so you're going first. <laughs> so Becca is hired in June uh, as the fourth head coach for our softball program. Uh, she's been an assistant coach at UCF, Cal, and UGA. Uh, all of those teams reach it, reaching the regional finals. Uh, heck of a player as well at Charleston. Uh, one of the top players. Three draft WNBA picks. Give it up. Woo! Go, go. Also new on the block here, uh, Flavia. She was named our core volleyball head coach in March 2024. Um, she played professionally in Brazil. And she has quite the resume as well. She's coached at the JUCO, the Division II, now here at the Division I with an overall record of 359 and 156. Woo! She brings a high level of pedigree of winning. That's amazing. Abigail. Abigail is our assistant coach for women's golf. She is a former student athlete at App State. She's been with us going into her second year here, and we are happy to have her. Give it up for Abigail. Woo! <laughs> but with that effect, not only for women's basketball, but for the exposure of women's sports, what has that done? Wow. Yeah, it's definitely an effect. Uh, I went to the uh, Dream Game, uh, I guess it was two weeks ago. Uh, when she was in town playing, and I wasn't paying attention at the opening. And the first half, I hear everyone look at the crowd, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, dream is winning already. And I look up, no, nah, it's a fever. I mean, they, they score. I mean, yeah, you can't even tell. Them. I mean, they have taken over. Every game is like a home game. But uh, I think you can't deny it. Her effect, but I think it's just in women's sport overall in the last, you know, if you look back the last 10 years, if you go back and you look to um, the World Cup women's soccer, I think 2019, I mean, I think they had oh, like 3 billion years, you know, if you talk about the U.S. Open, uh, what's happening at in the last few years. And then even if you go back and think about when Kobe made it cool to be a girl dad with the popularity of just sports in general for women. And now when you talk. So dancers and cheerleaders, even when they make it to the professional space, still have to have full-time jobs. So my time with the Falcons was really pivotal for me because the coordinator, Chateau, is, uh, has a PhD in psychology and is a counselor. The choreographer is a chemist. Um, so they are the Falcons cheerleader coaches, but they have full-time jobs. And to be a Falcons cheerleader, you also have to have a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And so I get to bring the aspect of being a multi-hyphenate. I'm a glass half full person. And so until we can get to the place where cheerleaders and dancers are compensated, you know, at the level of other professional athletes, I get to teach my kids to diversify, mm -hmm. to have other interests, to be good at something else, so that when their bones start cracking, because they will, um, <laughs> that you can either become a coach or you can do something else that you're passionate about. So I'm over co-ed cheer, all-girl cheer, the pantherettes, and our beloved pounds. Um, but I also work for a financial institution full-time. And so there's something so great about being able to do the thing that I love, um, but also being able to do something else that I love. Um, so I think the New York Knicks are the only team that completely compensates their dancers as like full-time employment. Wow. Um, and I hope that the industry keeps continuing to move in that direction. That's amazing. So Ricardo, we talked about you. What's up guys? So here we are. <laughs> oh my goodness, babe, how was the event? That was amazing. I felt privileged to be there. <laughs> I'm just a basketball life. 
<laughs> Taylor keeps calling himself a basketball wife. So I felt like that. <laughs> That's fun. And everyone, a lot of respect for her. <laughs> She's an alumni, which is super crazy. <laughs> we all know alumni is. Super respectable thing. When you're an athlete, and the next athlete that made it in his life, people need to look up to you and become an alumni. Yeah. Georgia State wants her to be an alumni. That isn't freaking cool, I don't know what is. So I'm super proud of her. <laughs> right away, the first thing we get there, we want to make you an alumni. Board member. Fox comes right up to her. Yeah, yeah. a board member, right? Board member, yeah. So that is super cool. I knew she was about it for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and then even people uh, were like, wow, so you're definitely an athlete. <laughs> what do you play? She's like, well, I'm not an athlete anymore. She's like, you're not? Everyone thinks she's an athlete currently. But she looks so good. She's like, you know, I played 10 years ago. It's like, 10 years? <laughs> I can't believe it, man. They're like, you play right now, don't you? <laughs> Tell was the one who was telling them that. You, went, you took it over, man. Yeah, that sounds really cool. I felt real privileged to be there. There was not very many men there either. No. Most women's important. Uh, women in sports. So I was a minority there. Yeah. Really cool. What, what did we find out about the tailgates in Cali? Yeah, and we got a, our table, the guy sitting next to us was like the biggest and baddest tailgater in every game. Yeah. So Ken befriended him. Turns out he runs the Georgia State Facebook page. So we got his number. We're going to be hanging out with him on Saturday. Yeah. Tailgating for them and going to a Panthers game. That's right. So it should be fun. You guys are going to join us. <laughs> yeah, you guys, it was so much fun. I, I'm really grateful that um, Taylor came along and he's just awesome. Everywhere I go, we go together. We just have a great time being together and doing things together, right, babe? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't have a fun time with you, babe? Babe. You're amazing. Thank you. Even more amazing every day, like today, I was like, <laughs> She's amazing! Can't take it! <laughs> Babe. Taylor kept, kept calling himself a basketball wife, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a basketball wife. I'm like, what do you think I am? With all of this, I was like... We're like the champion room, VIP area behind the you know, stadium. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It was amazing. We saw, we got to watch the... Um, Men's football practice. Absolutely. Yeah, just practice, you know. It's amazing. It was awesome. Yeah. She's a real rock star. Here. <laughs> Shout out to Georgia State Women's Basketball. We're going to be supporting for sure, right, babe? We're going to make it happen. You guys, make sure you get season tickets to support Georgia State Women's Basketball. All right, do it for me. Season tickets are not expensive. When you purchase it, you can put my name right there, Mariam Dogo. That's that was my name when I played. Mariam Dogo, D O G O. Asked you to do that. But yeah, I'm just so proud of you, babe. I'm proud of how involved you are and excited. Freaking amazing! Are you kidding me? <laughs> so fun. Yeah. Just to be a part of all that stuff. It's amazing. I mean, there was only like. Like you said, maybe a couple hundred people there, so very prestigious event. Yeah. You got to be uh, someone special to be at that place. That's right. And especially to be invited and, be, you know, indicted to, to be an alumni board member. That's amazing. <laughs> That's someone special. Like you, babe. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I appreciate it. So you guys, that's it. We're home now. We're gonna just go relax and wind, and then pick up the kids in like one hour and thirty minutes. But yeah, today has been one for the books, right, babe? Super cool. So it has been. Wait, do you think we should go for that one hour walk today? 
Oh, no. A little later when it cools down. Yeah, when it cools down later with the kids. Thing. That's going to help them because after practicing, doing that stuff um, at school and stuff, they will need something to just like help them boost up their energy again. Yeah. yeah. I felt nice though, man, doing the way with later. We could do it later, yeah. Sun was down. Maybe like at seven. Oh, I love you, I'm going to die. <laughs> like, this sucks. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Le'Veon's just, I mean, uh, Zoe's just like, I'm gonna win. Come up here, Taylor, be a leader. Yeah, I'm be a leader. I was like, so, so, what do you say? <laughs> She's like, we always lead to win it. <laughs> She's competitive, man. Very competitive. So yeah, you guys, thank you for coming along. Make sure you subscribe, you like, you come up for more. We appreciate every one of you. Um, yeah, check out Mariam's Joyful Life on tours or Mariam's Joyful Life. Um. <laughs> oh, bumpy, sorry. That's okay, babe. Mariam's Joyful Life, luxury vacations. All the information to check me out on the description box below. <laughs> you keep bumping. Bumps. That's okay. These drivers are bumpy. Yeah. Thank you all so much. We appreciate you guys. Have a great day and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, babe. Bye. Bye.